Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have a beautiful little shooter from Bushy Beaver Slingshots. As you all may know, I already have a bunch of Bushy Beaver Slingshots and I love all of them so far. I have probably eight different frames from them, maybe, rough guess. This one here today is called the Newt. And the way he has it advertised is more along the lines of a frameless feel with a frame. Here she is, folks. She's a beauty. I like her a lot. It does come in multiple colors, multiple thicknesses. This one is a half inch thick HDPE. Quick specs. These little tips here are gonna be approximately 21 millimeters. The overall width of the slingshot is going to be 85. A lot of guys uh, like the 85 millimeter. I typically shoot 90, but 85 works for me too. This one here is how I'm gonna hold it, guys. I'm gonna pinch it like I always do, and I can see it shooting very well just from the way it holds. You know, it goes all the way down to the palm of your hand here, for me at least. I have medium-sized hands, I guess. Got a hole for a lanyard if you like lanyards, which I do. They offer it in wood of some sort too. I'm not sure, I uh, haven't been on his site recently. Maybe I should. You can get them on Etsy, may have some on eBay. You can hit them up on Facebook. He responds relatively quick. You know, he's a busy dude, full-time job, family, all that stuff. These are priced good. You can get an affordable slingshot, no problem. Always fast shipping. Really good transactions, really good products. You won't regret it for sure. Mainly, I wanted to show you the sizes, you know. When you see it in somebody's hand, you can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. It's gonna shoot pretty well. This this little well here, or, or gap, whatever, is cut deep enough for me. You know, you're gonna have to decide what you want on your own, but if you like the way this one looks, I'd get out there and get one. I like it a lot so far as it feels. Now we're gonna find out if I like it, how it shoots. I got one of these guys here. I think it's six inch, something along those lines. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll guess, six inches, right? That looks, that looks I guess I could find other ways to measure it, but I don't have a ruler right here. I'm gonna put a sticker in the middle of this guy and we're gonna shoot some of the eight millimeter steel and we're gonna shoot at 10 meters. Let's go ahead and get out to the range and shoot. All right, boys and girls, we got this thing banded up with some South Wales Caddy short draw, um, 0.4. And I got a paper plate up there and we're at 10 meters and Honestly, first shot. Laugh all you want. I might miss the plate. Holy crap, would you believe it? Uh, I'm used to 90 millimeters. So 85, you know, I'm not gonna change my aiming point. I'm just gonna bring my anchor up a little. Eh. <laughs> Wish me luck. Hit the plate. Take that. Two shots on the plate. I'll call that a win so far. Three shots on the plate. Ooh, low ball. But I still hit the plate. That was four. And five. I'm gonna go look at it and see where the grouping is. All right, so the clip was here. Um, you can see the one guy all the way down here barely hit, but it did hit. And then we got one, two, three, four. I'm gonna mark these off with a little marker and set it back up and take five more shots with the clip in the same orientation and see if we can get any better. Disclaimer time. It's hot as balls out here. Yes, hot as balls. But also, I've drinking a ton of coffee already and I'm kind of all over the place. Whoa. So yeah, five more shots. This would be still the initial shots. Overall, I'm telling you, it feels normal like any other freaking slingshot, to tell you honestly the truth. There's nothing um, out of the ordinary for it. It fits the hand really nice. I have no struggles pulling it back, no struggles with security. Um, you know, it's just, it just locks right in and seems to function like it should. Now let's get five more, see if we can improve or get worse.
be right back. Okay, so we have definitely improved a little bit here. Um, one, two, three, four, and five. I saw this one go right through that same hole. So we're definitely closing in the gap here, or the group. Um, I think after a few more rounds, uh, we should have this baby dialed in. Uh, while we're out here, I'm just gonna go ahead and smack a can just a couple of times. I don't normally shoot cans on my videos, but today I'm gonna, because I wanna try it out with this new slingshot. There you have it. 